So, uh, Minister Koleba, dear Dimitro, welcome to NATO. It's great to see you again. And uh, uh, we all see that the war in Ukraine continues to grind on, but we also see uh, uh, the bravery, the courage, uh, the determination of the Ukrainian armed forces, uh, the Ukrainian people, but also the Ukrainian leadership represented by you, and also, of course, President Zelensky. And we are so impressed, and we see how you have been able to push back uh, the Russian aggression, uh, and how all the allies then are now stepping up their support. Um, uh, I welcome the fact that uh, NATO allies and partners are delivering also heavy armor, uh, modern battle tanks. And I look forward to the meeting later on today where we can discuss how to sustain and further step up uh, uh, the uh, urgent uh, support to Ukraine, both uh, military support but also economic and financial support. But I also look forward to our discussions um, among allies on how we can uh, develop a more long-term uh, uh, program for assistance, for uh, support, to ensure that uh, Ukraine uh, can uh, uh, move closer to the Euro-Atlantic uh, family, to our alliance, uh, uh, with more interoperability, uh, transition to NATO uh, doctrines, uh, uh, equipment standards, and, uh, and uh, uh, therefore also um, look forward to that allies will now start the development of a multi-year program assistance package for Ukraine that demonstrates our long-term commitment to your country. Um, so, um, welcome again. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have you here and uh, look forward to have a bite with you and then later on uh, for you to meet all the uh, allies. Thank you, Jens. It's, it's really good to be here today at NATO on the uh, birthday of the Alliance, so happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, we, I would also like to thank you for convening the NATO-Ukraine uh, Commission. Mm -hmm. It's uh, not only symbolically important, but also politically and practically important format. And I'm looking forward to our discussions. Uh, I came here to NATO uh, to speed up deliveries of what has already been pledged uh, to Ukraine, uh, primarily uh, artillery ammunition, armored uh, infantry, armored vehicles, uh, personnel, armored carriers, everything that Ukraine needs for a successful counteroffensive. Of course, I intend to discuss, as you mentioned, the strategic plans for uh, ensuring sustainability of support that Ukraine receives. And uh, of course, the third biggest issue that will be in the spotlight today is uh, Ukraine's uh, accession to NATO. Uh, I think we are all happy for Finland today and Finland's accession is a clear message that the time to revise all strategies and all perceptions has come and uh, there is no better solution to ensuring Euro-Atlantic security as a whole uh, than membership of Ukraine, eventual membership of Ukraine in NATO. So thank you for having me here and I'm looking forward to fruitful discussions. Thank you. Welcome.